I have 30. All right, everybody, welcome back to Fate. This is our uh, this is session 30. Woo! The beginning of session 30. X X X. And <laughs> I got another couple people were streaming. Like I told Nikki to tell you. Are, yeah, like what's, that? Yeah. what's the uh, push I, up? You have to say it during this. I am You have to say it during this. Yeah. We you're. I was bored for this shit. <laughs> now, for some recap, because it's been a while, I was I was out <laughs> for two weeks because uh, Europe. Uh, and you played D and D. By the I way, was, uh, I was check this Russia show. Yeah, cup I got. Ah. Like, oh, you just put it on top oh, side. Yep. Side, right. do you see? <laughs> you didn't even give me a chance to roll dexterity. Uh, <laughs> it was a surprise round. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That is pretty dope. I love it. You got some other neat stuff too, which. To drink like the darkest blood red wine we shine later. Have oh, well, to wear we hoods and goat horns and candles. Okay, <laughs> when we <laughs> last left ice. off, it had turned out that three of the party members Ooh. were simulacrum. 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 Thank you. Latin. We were fake. And uh, eventually real. there were beings of snowiness and the abbot. Who happens also to be a deva, uh, angels, man. celestial, figured it out, saw them for what they were, and began to attack them. The, the other members were a little confused. I believe some of them that, that figured it out killed themselves. Yeah. And some other fun stuff happened. They melted, and then they actually woke up themselves within Strahd's castle. They broke out because Amshin is a freaking monster. Damn though, I just had Chinese can, food. Can't through cages. Break, <coughs> break cages like the balls. No. Just a little bit. And they made it into Enjoy. this room that has an hourglass in it with some different colored stones and a brazier. It tastes what they, uh, what shit tastes like, man. They were made of. Which is. The thing that women put over their breasts. The food! Look at him, Mary's his next for <laughs> That's right. Where is that room? Did I mark that what that room was? Probably not. Why is it so hard to snap into the slim jump? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seven and eight. Yeah. Cannot the life of me find this damn. There sorry it is. to all you vegans out there. There it is. Okay. <laughs> you can't eat meat. That's what I'm sorry for. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. The rest of you that are not in the castle, resolve yourselves to head to the castle because you found out from the Deva and his scrying nissness that the other members were within Castle Ravenloft. You're kind of on your way there. Now, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna start with the people in the brazier room. Now this room, is it's, it's Terrell, Isaac Schmidt, and Amish. They killed the the other dude, the werewolf guy who was there, whose name was Emil. Who we wrecked him. He didn't have a chance. He was pretty, pretty noob sauce. Not really designed necessarily to be a difficult fight. Uh, at least not at your current levels. Yep. You pretty much wrecked, wrecked some shit. The Brazier Room. Mm -hmm. This room, which I don't have drawn out because this is going to be theater of the mind for a bit. Um, this room is 30 feet square rising to a 20 foot tall flat ceiling. A stone brazier burns fiercely in the center of the room, but its tall white flame produces no heat. The rim of the brazier is carved with seven cup-shaped indentations spaced evenly around the circumference. Within each indentation is a spherical stone, twice the diameter of a human eyeball, and made of a colored crystal. No two stones are the same color. Essentially, you have all the colors of the rainbow, which we'll get into that here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Overhead, a wood-framed hourglass as tall and wide as a dwarf hangs ten feet above the brazier, suspended from the ceiling by thick iron chains. All the sand is stuck in the upper portion of the hourglass, seemingly unable to run down into the bottom. Writing, or rather written in glowing script on the base of the hourglass is a verse and comment, which again gets to me. Two nine-foot-tall iron statues of knights on horseback, poised, charged with swords drawn, stand in deep alcoves facing each other. The brazier sits between them. Okay, okay, let's see here. The writing on the hourglass reads as follows. You can read, right? Yeah. <laughs> remember, remember, he didn't read. He did. He didn't read the book that we needed yeah, to have was, read because, because in the critical time. role, dog <laughs> cannot. <clears throat> Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not as good as everyone else. He here. stayed up this time. Yeah, that's right. I can read. <laughs> Successful. Dex. Dex. Half damage. <laughs> That's he, rude, Graydon. <laughs> kick Sire right away. <laughs> That's just rude, man. <laughs> it seriously kicked me about 35 feet. Cast a stone into the fire. Violet leads to the mountain spire. Orange to the castle's peak. Red if lore is what you seek. Green to where the coffins hide. Indigo to where... Uh, indigo to the master's bride. Blue to ancient magic's wound. Yellow to the master too. All right, hey, give me those colors again, please. Okay. All right, uh, and what was the last one? Yellow. No, 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 just what, where it sent me. Oh, to yellow go. to the master's too. Okay. I said we go with indigo. Okay, so give me the colors again. Well, in order. You're, you're, you all are technically where you need to be. Nope, indigo. Give me, Kill give me, wife, huh? give me the colors again. <laughs> okay, like in order. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Violet, B, orange, o, red, red or green, G, and leave, leave one blue, wife. B, I will yellow. tell you why later. Is this wife? It's it's a code name, Vorgaby. I'm telling you, oh, Vorgaby. Oh, we know what that means. I guarantee it. Vorgaby. You crazy kitty, Graydon. I'm totally with them, so I totally want to see this wife. I'm gonna kill her. All right. Let's piss him off. This is not. Why do we have to kill her? Well, wait, is Terrell here? Wait, who was the end? It's certainly possible. Terrell. Oh, Terrell's here. You don't wait, recognize her. Where's she got? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm involved. If she's, yeah. the, if she's the wife of I was a baby. the evil man, it's size on you. Oh, I'm actually pleased. She's automatically guilty by by association. So you're doing indigo. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna discuss it. I just well, want to okay. go. What do you think, Terrell? We'll discuss this. Yeah. No, you're Terrell. Yeah. Yeah. Terrell, give me a because you actually are not necessarily from here, but you've been here a very long time. Go ahead and give me a knowledge check. You're playing the game. Yep. Just intelligence. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ow. He knows everything. I don't need to look. Cause that's a natural. Oh damn! Um, that's all. I'll crazy. tell you when it's right. When it's good. There you go. That's it. No, no, a little bit more now. I really can't wait for this. What are you trying to do? Try to get the cat on it, or trying to get the camera back in position on the characters? So cool. The camera. Yeah. I mean, look at it. It looks okay. like it looks like we need to find. You know, it. from it's at our back. So it's our, it's our ally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know it's at our back, so it's our ally. Okay. Time here. A little bit about what's going on. Um, the Mountain Spire. Natural 20, that's pretty dope. Alright. Uh, I mean, his intelligence is awful, so he has literally no bonus. The <laughs> Mountain Spire is a reference to Solenka Pass. To where? Solenka Pass. Um, orange is to the North Tower Peak of the of Castle Ravenloft. Red, if lore is what you seek, takes you to the study in Castle Ravenloft. Green to where the coffins hide. 
is the uh, Dolphin Maker Shop. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it's pretty straightforward there. Yeah. Um, Indigo, which is to the Master's Bride, will actually take you to the Abbey of St. Barovia. I'm, I'm sorry, of St. Markovia, which is where they just relatively recently left from. Mm. Not that you know that. Well, we were kind of there. Or were we? Were we conscious when we were there? Because oh, I guess you were. Or like, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we were totally hanging yeah, out we with were, everybody. We thought we were us. Oh yeah, but you weren't technically. We weren't technically uh, us. But yeah. Let me maybe we like us. were dreaming it. We'll say that you didn't know that. Oh. I just had you play them so that you know. Well, shit, I could have smoked like three cigarettes the whole time. <laughs> Blue is to the ancient magic's womb, which is the Amber Temple, which nobody here has even heard about yet. And then yellow to the Master's Tomb will, of course, bring you to Strahd's Tomb. Do we have all of our Probably items? Probably clear of that. Yes, Why? you do have all of your items. No, well, not this much. Is that what was? Items. Um, no, Indigo was, uh, we'll, we'll in go, go to the Abbey of St. Markovia, which okay. we know we're at the castle, right? Like, we've mm -hmm. deciphered that. Hand me the little the purple sand. Oh, shit. All right. All right, guys. It's decision time. Yeah. Um, I, All right. I say yellow. I mean, I say if we're going to do yep. it... And we're we're at the castle. We know that. Right? Will, you are yeah. in castle. Right we also now. don't know where our yeah. party members are, though. That's the issue. We don't, but we were going to St. Markovia. Can we get to the gates, but of the that's castle? that's really far away. So I don't think we should go there. No, I, I, I imagine they would just. Okay. Can we get to the gates of the castle, or like, right outside the castle, and wait for them. That was, well, was, was there any of those options? No, no we can go. Took you outside, like right outside the castle. We can get to. We can get to. to we need. Uh, there were several that are inside. The map, castle. map, map, map. Uh, this map? Well, it's not a map of the castle. Well, like, we, do we still have our we maps? Can get like, else. didn't we find our stuff yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, is there a map of Barovia? Yeah. On there? Yeah. So we can see where all these places are that we know. Oh, oh. We which ones were inside the castle other than the master? Oh, we can go to the the north peak, basically the north tower of the castle. Okay. We can go to Strahd. Yeah, clear that. We'll wait till we go to the party. Oh, we go to the study. You're study. also oh. still looking for the Sun Sword. Ah, which uh, is in the uh, wine cellar. Which is probably. Uh, Not the North Peak. Let's go to the study. The wine cellar in. You want to go to the study? Yeah. Yeah, we just want to go to the study. So we need to go. The sword is in the castle? Yeah, it's in the wine cellar. Precisely. But we're in like the balls deep basement right now. So we need to get. Uh, it's so, uh, and and we, we have plenty. We have plenty of time to okay. decide too. It, the, we can go. the text is: Seek a cask that once held the finest wine, of which not a drop remains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wine cellar. Um, so I say we go to the study and then work our way down. Well, oh, we're already down. Yeah, but we're, there's no way up from here. Oh, we're just in a room. Um, it's not a thing. That's not entirely true. Uh, let me look here. There are stairs that lead up. Two different sets of stairs that go up. Makes sense. Here. Well, we can go a set of stairs if you guys want. Actually, three sets of stairs that go up. If we can remember how to get back here. We can come back. You guys are split up. <laughs> no, we're not splitting up. <laughs> now you don't have a map of the castle. Right. The castle itself. Yeah. You don't have paper that we can. Uh, sketch one yeah, you don't, you don't have me. the walls that we have lost. We can do we have candy? Yeah. What are we on time? <laughs> uh, I don't know, about like two minutes. No, uh, we're somebody tracking the time. We're at least okay. about 11 minutes. Cool. About I, just, I, great, great. I actually added 30 seconds, too. Um, does anybody have candy? Seriously, okay. I got this. I got this space cake, so I'm not about to drop those. This is valuable. Yeah, but we can break them up in little pieces and we can oh, leave a trail. Let me see if I have anything I can drop. Um, I would love to see, but can you read that handwriting? <laughs> <laughs> I can never read this handwriting. All Eli's? Um, no, <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I wish I could say it, but I'm not there. Yeah, I don't have anything. I say we swing it. Let's walk it one of the stairs and hopefully don't get killed. Yep. 
No, we don't have right. chambers or something. Uh, so that's fine. Does anybody have detect magic? Maybe we can like see if there's like a hidden doorway or something. We're talking to the wrong guy. We're talking to the wrong bear. Um, Nope. Uh, no, I don't okay. Think he has yeah, I don't think he has any kind of magic. So there are three sets of stairs that you can see coming from, or like facing the big curtain that you pass through. That leads down to that recessed area where you fought the uh, that one who's the werewolf guy. His name I forget. Um, Dead guy. Yeah. Right. But guy number. Okay, so you've got three different sets of stairs. One is a straight shot up. It goes pretty high up. It goes farther. So this is from left to right. One set of stairs goes up what looks to be about two stories. Steep grade. The next one, which is kind of in the middle, goes up one flight. And then the one on the far right is a spiral staircase. <coughs> heading up. Bless you. So we take the middle. Okay. Chances are the one that's going to be closer to our level than would be going all the way two up. stories up or even this And how far up did that spiral staircase go? We can't see it. Uh, it just spirals it staircase. It just keeps so going. You don't really know. Next. Is somebody going up there? No. Uh, let's just get to the middle. Yeah. yeah let's we'll just get the middle staircase. We'll get the middle staircase. Yeah. Okay. Middle, middle staircase. Yeah. Uh, a lot of time to kill, too. Look at this. <laughs> Decision maker. This is the center stair. I'm kind of making a map. The door and there are kind doors, of, roughly, uh, that are not locked or trapped or anything. So don't worry about that. Just gotta remember. The door creaks open to reveal a stone staircase between rough masonry walls. There is little dust on the steps, but light fog tumbles down the steps from above. Uh, we're at the bottom of the staircase, so no worries. It's up at 45 degree angle, for a of 20 feet horizontally, connecting. In different areas. Okay, you come into a tunnel. Where Gollum is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the tunnel. <laughs> 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 this, Time for some rules. This boy. tunnel no, is cut no. into the pillar stone of Ravenloft itself. Its surface is slick and its ceiling is barely six feet high. Oh, he's just sitting there with a lingering, <laughs> A lingering <laughs> fog <laughs> limits visibility. <laughs> To a few feet, so you can't see very far okay. in this fogginess. The um, as just kind of by the way, as you begin to ascend the stairs, you hear scraping of metal coming from down the stairs, the room that you were in. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. But they okay, <coughs> seem to be like pursuing you. Up there, okay. you guys do nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, she'll lead the the pack. Uh, You'll try to blaze. Are, okay, <laughs> that's fair. This is a 120 feet long tunnel. Does anyone checking for traps? I don't see any. We have him. So if he finds a trap, we will know. Fair enough. So you get about 70 feet in, and because you're in front, Imsh, Imsh is pretty much always in front. Right? So you get about 80 feet or so in, and you feel the floor give way, and you slide down. I can get a deck saving throw. Uh, yeah, I'll give you one. Expert. You know, roll high. You're a bear. You're too big for the hole. <laughs> nah. No. <Nope. laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. huh. So you slide down <laughs> and <laughs> you <laughs> hit uh, water. You land in water. It's Ooh. not like you don't take any damage. But you slide down. Well, that looks like fun. And it, <laughs> it <laughs> closes behind you and you find yourself in. Another one of the cells. Sweet. What's the first thing against my leg? Emsh. It's the couch. Everyone else, there is. Uh, so we just look at it. Oh, man. Let's so it's traps. Let's see. You should look for traps. 
I think you should just throw me across. Actually, hang on. Okay. Just, what is your passive perception? Yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter. Give me, Sounds give me a perception roll first, and then we'll kind of go over right. everybody. No, no just yeah. Fifteen. Oh, you get a bonus. Yeah. No, no, it's 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 <laughs> you don't see it. Nice. All right, it will. Uh, <laughs> you land down in there. By the way, the floor Sheesh. pops back up. <laughs> You wanna? Well, we already know if we can't yeah, like, really go anywhere. We can, like skirt around the outside of it. It could maybe like you when we when we saw it. Question: It takes up the whole space. How how, how long was it? it? Was it was it five feet? How big was like it's, the floor? It's a ten foot. Ten foot trap door. Yeah, it's a, it's a good it's a good size leap right there. there That's not that far, there. man. People jump like eight meters all the time. That's like twenty five <laughs> feet. Yeah. Ten feet's like jumping over a crick. <laughs> <laughs> you better do it then. Do you have uh, like a dagger or anything that can jam in anybody? Mm. I'm gonna tell you. If I can read Eli's handwriting. <laughs> you know what? Let me see what he's got. I've been carrying this goddamn dulcimer this whole time. <laughs> it's gone. We're using it. See you later, buddy. The dulcimer? Yeah. Say <laughs> la vie, Dulcie. I'm tired of it. So you're gonna like the bard destroying <clears throat> an instrument. Yeah, he has sacrifice. a violin. That he uses yeah, my violin fiddle player. Life saving. We should dual fiddles. I have a violin. Uh, 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 he has wooden stakes. Sai so technically has a viol. No, I think he sold it. I don't know. You're part of nightmare, man. Well, no, no. Sai's lead singer. Crowbar. Mm. Sai's lead singer. Yeah. Crowbar's a crowbar. Oh, let's that use that. You can use How to kind of jam it up. <laughs> No. Good job. How, Good how job. convenient. All right, so, so let's let's use I, that. And, uh, I won't make you roll for it or anything. It's not like a crap or anything. You just you jam it up. Good. And you all can cross over. We're you guys are rolling really well tonight. Like this is good. <laughs> hey, I rolled a twenty when they it's came, good. To, came to knowledge. Hey, buddy. Uh, I rolled a twenty before the game. It's having a good time there. Uh, that's that's helpful. Yeah. Imsh, uh, go ahead and and do your. I guess. You you're gonna try to get out, but you have your weapons now, so it'll be easier. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, is there a door? Yes. Is the door locked. Yes. Okay. How uh, deep is the water? Well, it's not very deep. We're gonna try to uh, unlock the door in inch fashion. It's maybe uh, four foot. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that. Do uh, inch stuff. So Terrell, you wanna like you know wait here? Hopefully, I'm just gonna make it you. back. Well, you don't know where it went. You just know that he fell through. Oh, we should we fell through a trap door similarly earlier. That's fair. I mean, it's a fair. <laughs> I feel like they could probably guess that. Back to the dungeon. Roll for that. I don't think you know that, Em. I don't think you would care. <laughs> I'm in the dungeon. I know where the hell I'm at. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna break down this door. We'll put some must out. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, ten. Oh. Use your sword. Oh wait, no. Is it an attack roll? Yeah. All right, well. Why would you try to strengthen? You have your swag. Your swag is a beastly okay. weapon. Your swag is a legendary weapon. Sixteen attack. Which, like, yes. Kind of an object. I guess that's you like don't that. even have to roll, dude. Roll yeah. damage yeah. on that cage, you man. Do it. But no. your swag cuts through that regular iron like it's not like a white sand. <laughs> 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 kick it over right. and you recognize the place you have been there before I'm just gonna go ahead and open all these teleports there just is. in case just in case I fall back through and all right. I don't have to waste my time later are <laughs> Terrell and I just been waiting or are you continuing into the I mean go we ahead. have no idea where let's, exactly let's uh let's be a little bit more careful this time let's, you get to go first though are, well, I guess the big question is, are you waiting, or are you going to let him... We're, we're going to make it... His speed is, like, way higher than yours. I, so. I feel like that, without any prior knowledge, we have no idea of whether or not... Hank's even alive at this yeah. point. Okay, can we actually, can we trigger the, uh, like, the trap, like, with the crit, like, hit it and, like, make it swing open? Or you have to apply... That's a, uh, give me a perception check. Or, I'm sorry, investigation. I ain't got none of that. Can, why, don't you, why don't you roll? 
at least. Fifteen. That's better than mine. Okay. Um, well, you can tell, Isaac Schmidt, that you need to apply <coughs> a do little you, more than just like a stone. Do you have any rope? So, like, I mean, do you have any just use that crowbar and just push down on it? Would that be enough to not? Do you do you, do you have any rope? Probably not. Probably. I guess we should all have rope. I guess. Explorer's pack, that's yeah, rope. Yeah, Explorer's pack, then Mirror's pack, most of the right. have rope. So, hey, Terrell, Terrell, tie me with some rope, and I will go stand on that, and you hold on to me, and we'll we'll make it open. It's time. Okay. I have no yeah. problem with that one. But what thing. if the you go down and it snaps, it snaps shut and cuts It doesn't rope. snap shut until there's nothing in the, the tunnel part. Oh. Uh, because you notice that it stayed open for a little while, and then it closed, like, maybe a second or two after. Okay. Well, I was just thinking that we should, like, try to open it up and yell if it, see if Imch is okay. Okay. Because... So when you do that, Imch, yeah, you're, so like, heading out, and you see that, like, the door opens, like, like, the wall opens back up, and if you want, you can kind of peek up and yeah, see. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> it's, it's a bit steep. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, so you, you all can, of course, communicate. Imshman, you dead yet? Just <laughs> 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 lucky at you. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm in, back in the dungeons. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we'll wait. No, that's, all right. we're good. Okay. And you make your way back up. And time, um, time went up. It is time up. So go ahead and we'll end this part if you want to stop. Recording for a bit. Tommy, did you make it? Tommy. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, you should do that. Since I took over. <laughs> <laughs> I got what you were doing.